Today I'd like to thank sponsors for today's video being HelloFresh. So, HelloFresh is Canada's number one meal kit system delivered exactly to your door. Just like once a week, you go on, you pick your meals for the week, you order them, and they just arrive. So quick and easy and convenient. All your meals come in different bags then. You gotta watch their variety. With over 22 different options. Today we got like chicken enchiladas. Today we got Greek lemon chicken as well. Taking a look inside the bags, we got all kinds of different cool ingredients. We got our peppers, we got zucchinis, we got everything we need to make a quick, easy, and fresh meal. Also comes with a beautiful little recipe. Yes, it is right. A description of the ingredients. Recipe step by step making it super easy to follow. So if you look for some cool recipes to get out of your everyday rut, being like what is for dinner, get some cool recipe guys from HelloFresh. Let them make that answer for you. It also gives you an excuse to get back into the kitchen. And the cool thing with HelloFresh is you're making all the products yourself. Like you're making the dressings, you're making the sauces, so you can say hello to fresh. So right now everybody go use that code on screen, Joel80 for $80 off, including free shipping. Yes, that is right. So what a better time than now to try HelloFresh. So go use that code guys, Joel80, HelloFresh, link down below. Save yourself some money, get some great food. Just look at it. It is very beautiful. And look at all these other ones. Anyway, you get the picture. We're jumping in the water. So. It's cold, dude. All right. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're at Ramen Takanatsume to do their big Giga Ramen Challenge. This is about an eight pound ramen challenge. Um, it's ramen. Scott really likes ramen, so we're here to do the challenge. I'm here with him as well. Um, so it is a 30 minute time limit. Uh, basically you just gotta eat all the ramen, all the broth and everything in 30 minutes. Hopefully we can do it. Eight pounds is pretty big, but uh, should be good. Let's have some fun. If we win, we get a meal for free. If not, we pay for it. So wish us luck. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenges. So yeah, it looks like some big bowls of ramen. Um, luckily Scott's came out first, so his was cooled, like cooled for about 15, 20 minutes. Mine hasn't, unfortunately. I did, uh, we do have some ice though, which we'll probably throw into it. Um, so hopefully don't burn ourselves, should be really good. I don't know if there's a record, but we'll find out now in uh, 30 minutes. Let's get going. All right, so record is apparently about nine minutes. Yeah. Scott's gonna crush it. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna get started here momentarily. So let's hit the count of five, four, three, three, two, one, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Ramen Taka Sume, I believe it's pronounced. Anyway, they just call it Ramen Taka, so I'll call it Ramen Taka. Here in Richmond, BC, they have a location right in Vancouver, a location in Richmond, both in the Vancouver area, Metro Vancouver area. So here we are doing their challenge. Um, total, it is about eight pounds, consisting, I believe it was like four or five pounds of solids and then the broth. Um, so you're allowed to choose your broth, whether you want it like, I guess they call it like a shoyu ramen broth. There was another one. Um, we both chose a, a miso, a miso broth. So it's basically like miso soup in with the noodles, um, which is delicious actually. Um, and yes, well, I said delicious. So you know, generally I'm not a big noodle person. However, I will say, for a noodle challenge, this ranked very high in my list. Um, I guess I actually don't mind ramen as much as I like thought I did previously, or at least good tasting ramen. So good tasting ramen's okay in my books. So these were absolutely hot. Um, they misunderstood us when we arrived and ordered them, so they only made the one, which was the one Scott had, and then we had to wait about another 15, 20 minutes for him to make mine. By that time, Scott's was getting like cold, and mine was 
it's piping hot and we wanted to get started and get going, so we decided just to start, even though it was absolutely boiling hot, which was the worst idea ever, and you'll see why. So three and a half minutes. Uh, very tasty ramen. I did enjoy it. Um, so that everybody, I guess for that we get the meal for free. It's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll get some dessert somewhere. Actually we have second dinner plans, but <laughs> we'll forget about that. So Scott, what do you think of the challenge? Yeah, it was good. It was tasty. Um, I guess I've improved since my first uh, yeah. time that I did this with nine and almost ten minutes. So crushed it. Yeah. One thing though, my tongue. Is, yeah. I'm, it's scorched. To I don't, be honest. It's, mine, mine was hot and yours was hotter and I uh, had to uh, dump a bunch of water in there, so you're going to be happy. I'm going to have some ice on my yeah. tongue and hopefully be okay, but yeah, so really good. Um, I enjoyed the flavor of it. Those who have been following me for a while know how I feel about noodles and this is actually quite enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's a good size. It's very reasonable. So I think that, you know, a lot of individuals would potentially have an attempt at it. Okay, and this brought me about eight pounds with everything in it. So I had like pork and uh, eggs, like preserved eggs. And yeah, so I have no complaints. Yeah, ramen noodles. Ramen, I mean, hey, ramen noodles. A little bit of seaweed there. And yeah, there was a, we also were able to pick a, a shoyu or a something and a miso ramen. So we both went with miso. I mean, it was a good choice. I like the flavor of it. Now my tongue needs ice and recovery. <laughs> but everybody, until next time, say happy, hungry, happy eating. You know what to do? Live your life. And don't, don't do what we do. Yeah, don't, especially when it's hot. <laughs> The challenge was actually so hot that I burnt the like lining of my stomach and I was in excruciating pain for about two days. So don't eat hot food everybody, just don't. Look at this. And then whether you win or lose, you gotta stick your face in this <laughs> big old board. And look, they very nicely covered up, could not finish because we just finished. Good job, <laughs> Scott, that's awesome. Hey everyone, we're up at Lake Annette in Jasper. Scott and I, of course. And man, it is cold. It is like 10 degrees out right now, partially due to elevation. And I guess apparently at the beginning of August, it's damn cold up here. But uh, yeah, besides that, it's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Look at this water, look at this scenery, look at this view. I don't know if you could like, do you guys see how blue that water is? It looks fake. It just absolutely looks fake. Surrounded by mountain ranges and stuff. Like, this is honestly, like, this whole area is just some of the most beautiful scenery and areas I've ever seen in my life. I uh, very much wish this was a little bit more inhabited because I'd love to live somewhere like this. So, but yeah, pretty, uh, pretty fantastic. All right, this just gets crazier and crazier. Look how clear this water is. 
it's literally just absolutely crystal freaking clear. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, okay. Just so still, so blue, so clear, so mountainous. Just like, damn. Damn. All right, so here you have an illustration. Uh, here's the history. So during the 1800s, first European travelers that you used the Mount Edith Cavell, um, which is the mountain, this one, as a landmark for their travels through basically these paths, which is pretty interesting because that'd be pretty crazy to journey through the Rockies. Anyway, so Signal Mountain, which is 200 and, or 2,225 meters high, is that one right there. So that's how high that is. So that's very, very high. And then we follow the illustration. That point is right there. That point is right there. Then this Mount Cavell Athabasca Pass, which is the very, very high one, 3,370 meters high, is that right there, which you can't see because it's basically covered by clouds. See, I get so high, we can't really see it because the clouds are right here. That's what that is. So that's pretty cool. So it's a good landmark as long as it's not a cloudy day. But yeah, that's super cool to have this illustration mapping out the mountain range. All right, we're doing it. We went and got our swim trunks on, so uh, we have to go in the water despite it being absolutely freezing yeah. out. Because we're in the mountains, but it's, I don't know, just YOLO. Got to jump in this clear blue water. Uh, it's going to be a cold one. Let's, Do it. let's put it that way, but hell right. All right. So look, we're out here on the on like a dock, and that's like six feet deep. But look, you can see the bottom, and you can see little uh, minnows, like little fish down there. Man, this would be great for fishing. You can literally see exactly what you're looking at and catching. Man, you need like a snorkel. Man, goggles or a snorkel? I would pay. I would pay a lot. Look how blue this is. I'd pay a lot of money for a pair of goggles or a snorkel right now because like, this is just ridiculously amazing, crystal clear, and I have 8% of my battery left. All right, I know it's kind of the, not, well, hold on, let me see if I can move, maybe angle it a little better. Oh, maybe a little better that way with the lighting, but uh, anyway, you get the picture, we're jumping in the water. So, it's cold, dude. All right, let's Hi everybody. Hopefully, wait, actually, that's probably a bad position for my camera. <laughs> I have it right by the edge of the, the thing. Here, I'll put it like there. Try that. It's a little better. Here now. All right. One, two, three. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> uh, it's cold. All right. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> that wakes you up. Hopefully I'll get rid of the headache. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Holy sh yeah that's Holy cool. Jumping. Oh. 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 So yeah. Jeez the freaking wheeze, it is cold in that water, but uh I mean hell, it's an experience. How often are you up in this place, right? So just gotta do it. Do it. Gotta send it. But uh yeah, so that was a lot of fun. My battery's about to die, but that's about it man. There's really not too much else. It's just it's freaking beautiful up here. This way the lighting looks really good, but just look at this mountain. Look at this blue water. Like look how clear. And there you go, my battery just died. That wasn't a part, did you hear that? And here we're up by the uh, Jasper Park Lodge. Uh, it's a Fairmont um, family. So yeah, it's, we're getting towards the main lodge somewhere, but it's literally like wood. 
like they look like cabins and uh, obviously it's in the mountain I guess they have a big golf course here too apparently it's Kenda's number one um, like golfing lodge thingy thing so yeah here you got some uh, some more lodges like I said they literally look like cabins which is pretty unique I guess a unique way to kind of stay up here in the mountains like literally in the mountains as you can see there's mountains all around us so yeah that's uh that's pretty cool so now we are in british columbia as you can tell because it's very very green still have some lovely big big mountains here uh, especially up here in this northern range of british columbia which is kind of by jasper because still have some very comparable mountains uh, yeah so it's pretty cool there's some to the right of us as well, but you can't see because all the green trees for green, sunny, beautiful British Columbia. Although it is still only 13 degrees out, so it's still pretty cold, but beautiful mountains. And here is Kamloops, British Columbia. We're not stopping in Kamloops, but we are driving by Kamloops, and so I figured I better document that theoretically we are going by and or through Kamloops. Hello Kamloops. Hello.